hello, 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 hello. Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Hi. How are you doing, Iris? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everything today? Oh, today was um, so cool for me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what, what happened? Um, I, I, uh, I'm working, in fact, but uh, for me, it was a quiet that day. Okay, great. Great, because I don't have troubles and problems today. All right. I, I do my own task and I, I was satisfied when finished the day. Okay, great, great. I'm glad, glad to hear that. Hello, Camila, how are you? Hi, hello, good evening. Good evening. You doing all right? Yes, yes. Okay, great, right. great. That's, it's good to hear. So, uh, well, let's just wait for one more minute. I hope your classmates uh, make it on time. Let's just give him like two or three more minutes and see what happens, okay? Uh, today we'll, we'll begin with unit four and uh, we'll start talking about, uh, talking about risk assessment. You know, like when your business is in trouble, when your business sees red numbers, we'll see, that, we'll see about that later, all right? So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Let's just give your classmates one more minute and let's hope they make it on time. All right. Oh, yeah, by, and uh, by the way, uh, we are going to, we're going to stay uh, a bit longer, like 10 more minutes, all right? Because uh, uh, we will have like reinforcement uh, sessions. So 10 more minutes, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go on and, and, uh, and practice a little bit more, all right? And uh, yes, and it's very important that we stay, you know, this uh, extra 10 minutes. Okay. All right, just one second. Okay, great. Okay, well, anyways, people are not here, which is not cool. So let's let's start with this. Um, I want to begin with a short activity, and uh, it's called it's called guessing the object. All right, but we'll do a little different uh, guessing the object. And in, in this case, I will show you uh, I will show you an object from a picture and you are going to guess what that object is all right and uh, it will come probably from a zoomed picture and let's see if you can find out what that thing is all right so give me a second let me pull it up i think i have it somewhere here All right, Romulo, how are you? You doing all right? Yes, I'm doing well, teacher. Great, that's good. It's good to hear you. It's good to have you one more time. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right, 
Great. And Jonathan is uh, joining us too. Jonathan, welcome. How are you? How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Great. Great. It's good to hear. All right. Great. So, guys, I want you to look at these pictures I'm just about to show you and uh, take a guess at what they are. So, let's uh, share screen. So, here we go. Here are these. So, now... Tell me what are what are these things? Let's begin with G. Let's begin with uh, Camilla. Camilla, what are what are the things in this picture? Picture number four. Take a guess. What is it? Maybe a bicycle. <laughs> a bicycle. <laughs> Okay, anybody else? Take a guess. What is this? A key. A key. Is it just one? Maybe many keys. Maybe many keys. Yes, they are. Great. Now, uh, how about uh, how about this, Romulo? What is this? Number three. Yes. A watch. It's a watch. Great. And uh, Camila, oh, sorry, Jonathan, what about number six? What is it? Umbrella. It's an umbrella. Great. And uh, let's see, Camila, how about number nine? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Well, let's have somebody helping you. Uh, I know it is. Want to help? A speaker. A speaker. All right. Let's see somebody else help uh, help her take guess. Uh, Romulo. Boront. Say again. Boront. Mm, a button. It's button. Like, uh -huh. A button. Uh -huh. I'm afraid that's not. No, it's not a button. What else can it be? Mm, I think I got you in this one. A camera. It's a camera. Yes, it's yes. A, camera. <laughs> a digital camera. Look, look. It's, look, a, it's a Zoom. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That those old uh, Sony cameras. We don't have those anymore, huh? Okay. Great. And uh, how about this one? The one. Uh, the one in number seven. Hey, you. Take a guess. What is this? Mm-hmm. Let's a cell phone. See. Yeah, an old cell phone. Yeah, it's an old cell phone. Look, that's a number pad. All right. Great, great. Look, uh, we just took a guess with these uh with these uh zoom pictures. Okay. These are uh, my ideas. But I want I want to see your ideas too. So I want you to do this. Uh if you can if you can, if it's possible to do it, if you know how to, take Zoom pictures of whatever and you have your, your classmate guessing what these things are. If you can't, you are going to Zoom an object to your camera and ask your classmate to guess what these things are or ask all of us uh, to guess what you are showing. Is it clear? Is it clear? Let's see. All right. We, we, oh, okay. teacher, I am not. not. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. One more time. Yeah. So uh, what you're going to do is this: if you can, if you can, if you're on your phone, possibly you can take a picture. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, show it and ask us to guess, but you have to take a zoomed picture if you can. But if you can't do that, like zoom, like take a picture and share your screen, it's okay. You can do this. You can 
show the object towards the camera and ask, hey, what is it? Okay. What is it? <laughs> uh, size or good? It's, no. uh -huh. What is it? It's, size, yeah, no. it's a pair of scissors. scissors. Yeah, it's scissors. a pair of scissors. All right, scissors. great. And uh, we'll show you one more at three, two, and one. What is it? Shell. A bottle? Shell. Marshmallows. 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 <laughs> okay, that's a lot of imagination, <laughs> Jonathan. Yeah. Shell. Shells, shells, yeah. They are shells and oh, it's the uh, base. It's no. a base, yeah, with with uh, with artificial flowers and and shells. Okay, good. So <laughs> let's <laughs> let's do something similar. All right. So think about something. You can turn your camera up, and when you have your object ready, you turn it on. All right. <clears throat> we take a guess. So who wants to be first? Who would like to be first? Who? Jonathan, will you? Okay, great. Please go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Shampoo. What? I know. A perfume. A perfume. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. <laughs> USB. USB? Yeah, all right. oh. yeah, that's a USB. Yeah, <laughs> it can fool your eye. Okay, great. Good. Now let's see somebody else, please. Me. All right, go ahead, Romulo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> try <A> later. <laughs> <laughs> try later. <laughs> try later. Point, it's a pointer now, laser. Yeah, you have to zoom it more. Yeah. You have to zoom it more. All right, great. <laughs> well, we, we got it. I think it's a pen. Other chains. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Let's have uh, let's have somebody else, and after this person goes uh, Romulo. So, uh, please, yeah, somebody else. Me. Okay, go ahead, please, Aries. Mm, it's uh, uh, calculator or yes. Control remote. Control. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a remote. It's a remote. Great. Great. Thank you. Let's see. Romulo, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Somebody else. Uh, uh, I don't know. Mm, Mary? Let me see. Mm, okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am ready. Okay, go ahead, Romulo. Then goes right? Mary. Okay, great. Okay. Up, up, bring it up. We can, we see you. We don't see the thing. We, we see you. Okay, what? A cup. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How could you That's guess? My favorite cup. <laughs> okay, it's a cap. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Let's see. I think. Uh, Mary. All right. all right, Mary. Go ahead, please. Let's see. <laughs> it's. Uh, it's a, it's a yes. It's a calculator too. Okay, but it's backward. Ah, she played a trick on us. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, somebody else. Uh, Camilla, what about you? Okay, let me see. I I looking for that. I 
Okay, let's wait for Camilla. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead, please. All right. Mm -hmm. Mouse. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, a computer. Uh, we could see the scroll. Okay, great, great. We saw the scroll in there. Great, great, very good. All right, good. That was that was uh, that was enough for for uh, for a starter. Okay, just to warm uh, warm things up a little bit. Okay, great. Now let's get down to business. So uh, we are going to learn about um, we're going to learn about uh, risk and uh, hang on. Yeah, we're going to learn about uh, risk, you know, vocabulary, vocabulary about risk. So we will talk about uh, words that we can relate to risk in the office or probably in, a, in a, an assembly line or in a factory or just anywhere. So we'll begin with uh, risk in a factory and also we'll learn about risk uh, in the business, right? As a, as a business in general. So first, uh, let's try to do this. I'm working on uh, page 34, all right? And now let's go ahead and uh, match these, uh, these pictures with their, uh, with their, I mean, these words with their definitions. All right, so let's begin. We have risk. What do you think that is? Risk. Hmm. Uh, when potential to be dangerous and to go yeah. harm. Right. Yeah, potential to be dangerous and to cause on. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see what's up. All right, next one we have a hazard. All right, we have hazard. Mm -hmm. Risking hazard are very, very similar. They are very, very similar. Let's think about that. You, you know, uh, let's see how many people. Procedure are. to prevent something dangerous from happening. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, a hazard. Mm, probably, no. Uh, a hazard is, is very similar to, uh, to a risk. So. Aiming to protect someone. Mm, 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 mm. No. No, 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 no. So let's uh, let's think it through. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to do this in uh, in small groups, and uh, I will go ahead and uh, send a screenshot of these uh, of these uh, words and definitions, and you guys uh, find and you guys match them. You may use a dictionary. It's okay. It's okay to use a dictionary, so you can have a clearer uh, a clearer idea of what these uh, words uh, mean. So let's, let me just uh, first uh, send you the screenshot and uh, then group you up with more people. All right, just give me a second. Let's, X is here. Bingo. And oh, I got here. Aries sent another Zoom picture in the group. I hadn't seen it. I think it's a uh, what is it? I think it's a uh, speaker, isn't it? Aries? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Great, uh, all right, 
Good. So this is already in your in your in your group, right? In the WhatsApp group. Now we'll work in uh, in small groups. You may use a dictionary to to help yourself finding uh, matching the definitions with the terms. Welcome, Arabella, and uh, welcome, uh, Aleida. It's great to have you. So yeah, now let's work in small groups. Okay, here we go. Please accept the invitations. I think is number two has Hazar. Okay, I think. I think is a okay. Somebody who's not a Bye. let's see what's up. No, quizás no lo tengo ese. Lo mandó en el chat. Por ejemplo, tenemos sí. que buscar el orden. Y quiero ver qué podemos hacer. Y aquí por aquí no me puede mandar la captura de pantalla. No, bebé. No, es que... Quiero ver cómo hago. Bueno, que... hay que y en el libro, ¿no tiene el libro, la hoja del...? ¿Cómo no? Buscándola. Ahí está, ahí está, ya la, ya la... Oh. Ya. Ah, ya la vi, ya la vi. 34, me dijo, ¿verdad? Daniel. Right. Entonces, for me, that uh, hazard is a uh, likelihood to... De baño en específicas. Like a little of harm in a specific circumstance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Okay. I agree? Yeah, agree? yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, okay. Expo exposure. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the safety mission. The uh, process. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. What? Wait, wait, okay. Number four. 
Number four. Aiming to protect someone, something from a hazardous situation. On protect from something dangerous. A safety, safety measure. No, repeat, Jonathan. I, I, I don't understand. Ex exposure. Okay. It's a uh, number four safety measure. It's a uh, aim to protect someone, ah. something from a hazardous situation. But. Uh, Uy. <laughs> Uy. <laughs> no, hay que buscar, hay que buscar las, las. Hay que buscar. Es el four number four is. Procedures to prevent something dangerous happening. ¿Qué ¿Qué puede ser? Sorry, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Sorry, guys. I will. Uh, it was it was just a mistake. I saw a new participant. Anyways, back to the groups. I know you're still working, so you get back to your groups. What's up? Uh, commit Agaveda, please, the invitation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Join us. Ana Lilian. Ana Lilian, are you there? Is connected the audio, is connecting the audio. No, 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 no. You, you have to, yeah, she's, Ana Lilian. How are you? I'm doing all right. What about you? Please, Arabella, join your group. They're waiting for you. Uh, do, I think you having trouble connecting, don't you, Arabella? An I don't. Uh, yeah, you must have received an invitation. No, vi la la invitación. Really? Yes. Mm. Yeah. But you you should see it. There should be a notification somewhere. Vea si hay una notificación por ahí. Había cerrado algo. Um. Pues no veo nada. No veo nada, como así. <laughs> no veo un, un recuadro de invitación. I don't see okay. invitation. All right, let, let me do it again. A ver. Ok, lo voy a... Give me a second. I don't know what to do here. Y yeah, I don't want you to move you to a different group. Okay, and Lillian, I will send. I will send you to uh, to Camila's group, or no, to Jonathan's group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. There you go. And uh, I don't know what to do with you. Let me see. Probably, I uh, will send you to a different group, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm going to send you to Camila and uh, Iris's. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Invitation. Did you receive it? No. Now, I will, I will send you to your regular group. What about now? No me ha caído la invitación. Why? I wonder why too. 
Break out rooms. No le aparece ninguna. ninguna. Uh, uh, le voy a dar. Aquí está ya. Ajá. Vaya. Ok. Yeah. You're in now? All right. Good. She made it. Are you guys doing? Um, we don't we don't know uh sure about the exposure. Exposure. Mm, exposure is uh, is when you are close to a danger like for example when you go out without a mask that's exposure or um let's see that would be one 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 example of exposure uh probably another one can be when you uh when there is a there is a, a chemical in a room you are you are ex exposed to that chemical so that one let, let's see which one can be similar to to exposure let me check here let's open the picture and then here we go I think it's a likelihood of, of, harm. of harm in a specific circumstance. Uh -huh. And the alert. Look, like for example, when you uh, when you are, that's another very similar term. They're, they're like very similar. But uh, for example, as I told you, when you go out without a mask, you're unprotected you have no protection against the virus so that is uh, that is exposure you're exposed to it you have no protection you are unprotected does it give you a clue oh, it unprotected for something dangerous or unpleasant all right there you go there you go that might be the one great let's see Possible to uh -huh. uh, 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 ra risk mm, maybe hazard is como dangerous is hazard true dice que es Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. 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 Uh -huh. unpleasant. Uh -huh. And safety measure. Safety measure. And procedure to to prevent something dangerous from happening. From happening. Uh -huh. From happening. And. Irreversible damage. 
is a consequence, uh, consequence, of, consequence uh -huh, of language, damage, that is, uh -huh. damage that's so, so serious, serious. Uh -huh. that impossible to end. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. And the, the last, last one, one is yeah. uh, um, precautionary. Uh, was the, let's see, precautionary. Yeah. I made to protect someone. Um, something, something. Yeah, yeah. From a hazardous situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Very good. Are you doing, guys? About to finish. Yeah, teacher. Finish, yeah. Oh, great. That's even better. All right. Yeah, so in a minute, I will return everybody. Okay. To the main session. Um, what's the name of this? So did you find the, the difference between risk and uh, hazard? Yeah. Uh, all right. What seems to be the difference? Um, the hazard is a uh, okay. The is a uh, the likelihood of happening is less than uh, the risk. Mm -hmm. I see. So, okay. Uh, the 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 risk had had has a higher like likelihood to happen. Yeah, um, yeah, likelihood. You can also say probability. Probability, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. So likelihood or probability like, of happening. Like Good, it. like it. Thank you. Great job. Let, I'll go check on the others and let's hope okay. uh, they've uh, finished already. All right, Mario just came too. I, how are you guys doing? Yes, I'm doing. All right, and uh, you finished? Have you finished? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, not yet? Yes, yes. You yes. have, awesome, awesome. I'm, I'm so glad you have. Well, let's see what you have over here, just. To, all right, so uh, did you find a difference between uh, risk and hazard? Um, yes, maybe the, the uh, is more really hazard. Mm -hmm. is the potential really, but hazard is the um, like la hood. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, uh, is a probability, but no need. Mm -hmm. It's it's like potential to be like it. It will potentially be dangerous, right? Like it, like it, guys. Thank you. All right. Well, I think I will just uh, check on the last group, and uh, depending on that, we go back. One. All right, all right. Good. <laughs> Teacher, we are confused. You are confused. How come? Always. Between hazard and uh, hazard and uh, danger. I mean, I mean, uh, risk and danger and uh, hazard. Is that a confusion? Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it seems you it seems you are okay. No. Yeah, because a risk is uh, something that will probably harm you. But uh, a hazard is something that will potentially be dangerous. They are very similar, but a hazard seems to be uh, more uh, more harmful. Then uh, risk. 
a risk is something that yeah may happen, but a hazard is more likely to happen, and hence it's more harmful. Yes. Harmful. Yeah. What does that mean? Harmful. Oh, harmful. Harmful means uh, that causes a damage. Huh? That causes a damage or uh, or um, or uh, causes a damage or has consequences mm -hmm. on you. So that's harm. A harm is is like a damage. That is what it means. Yeah. Okay. So I, I guess a uh, hazard. Something aimed to protect something from a hazardous uh, situation. I would say it's precautionary. Yes, that will be precautionary. The one you're missing, right? Number six. No. Where you have mm, likelihood of harm in specific circumstances now there is a little confusion over here yeah something precautionary is something you do in order not to get hurt mm -hmm. it's an action that you do it's like a like a precaution something like that it's a measure that you take in order for you not to get damaged or um this is number two, Preca precautionary. Yeah, uh-huh. Number two, I, or not? I guess it's uh, you pass number six over here, that would be the one. Number six, so it goes like five, six. Mm. Mm -hmm. Consequence of damage that it's so serious that uh, that's it's okay. impossible. That's good, that's fine. Now you have a space in there and that's for, uh, that's for precautionary. Precautionary means uh, something you do to protect you or your, or, or your house or your business from a dangerous situation, from a hazardous situation prevent something dangerous from... mm -hmm. aim, aim to protect so you have you're passing the number yeah so number that number six should be up there uh-huh yes good good great that is the one hey what pdf pdf editor you have PDF exchange editor. Hey, it's a good one. I like it. It's better than Adobe, right? It's yeah. mejor que Adobe. Yeah, it's better. See? I like it. It, it. You can do many more things in Adobe. If it's not paid, I mean, if it's the free one, you can do nothing. Just read. <laughs> here you can do many things i can see great well let's keep going so uh i think that number four you have to fix it let me see procedure no that's okay and uh only number one that's below number four oh, yeah it's pretty okay good. yeah great so i guess we'll go back okay just uh, fix that <laughs> Hello, everybody there? Okay, everybody join in.
Alrighty, alrighty, everybody back. Awesome. Hey, you know, it's great to have you back. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, this. Uh, we're going to share our definitions of hazards and, uh, and the risk in the business. So let's begin uh, with this. Let's begin with the basics. Yo, basic. All right, first, number one. So what is a risk? Uh, let's see. A risk. Romulo, tell me, tell me what is a risk, please. A potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Does, uh, do you guys agree on that one? Do you guys agree on that one? Is it isn't it a risk? Something that uh, something that could probably could probably harm you. Let's see. Anybody? Uh, the what? What are what are your guys' opinion about that? What is your opinion about uh, a risk? All right. And uh, let's. Compare that to hazard. So another group, please. Uh, somebody else from another group. You guys. Like, likely, likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Circumstances. Cir C uh, circum circumstances. Great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's more likely to be a risk. A risk is something that will probably happen and that, that will probably harm you. Okay, all right. But uh, then a hazard, on the other hand, is potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Okay, so that will put probably uh, number one over here. Oops, let me use uh, my Zoom board. So you guys can see it. Okay, here we go. So as I was saying, as I was saying, that'll be like uh, this right here, one, and over here, it'll be. It's a number one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it'll be two. But it, it, you know, it's okay because these words are very similar. They are very similar. All right, great. And uh, what about this? What about uh, exposure? What is exposure? Exposure. Uh, let's see. Anna Lillian, what do you understand by exposure? In exposure, in, let's see, is a procedure to to prevent something dangerous from happening. Mm. Are you sure? Mm. I'll give you an but example of, it's, of it's, exposure. No, 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 no. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, the little tree? Mm -hmm. Exposure, you say, right? The exposure. Okay. It's, um, it's a... Uh, um, Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. All right, good. So it's to be unprotected. Unprotected. Unprotected from something dangerous or un unpleasant. Uh huh. Yeah, like uh, for example. For example, uh, um, let me see. I have nothing in. You don't have not. You don't I have. Don't know, I have. I have no example from this. But let me see. Uh, how about this? How about um? How about when you go out without a mask? Mask. Aha. Uh -huh, for example, yes. Or you don't have any alcohol here or something like that. Uh-huh. When you don't have or a... Or glasses. Uh-huh. 
Okay, great. I like it. Fine. Uh, let's see. Somebody else. Uh, what about for? No, let me add it here. Being unprotected. Number three. What about a safety measure? Let's see, Arabella. What about a safety measure? What do you understand by safety measure? What do you understand by safety measure? I'm I meant to protect someone from a hazardous situation. So okay, so that is a uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. A safety measure. All right. Let's see. Somebody else. Does anybody else agree or disagree on that one? Safety measure. I put it on procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. All right. Uh, yes. It's rather a procedure. It's rather a procedure, like uh, a protocol, a protocol for you to uh, for you to be uh, ready or prepare yourself for something dangerous. Like it, great, thank you guys. Um, what about uh, next one? Yeah, so that'll be over here. It's a procedure. It's rather a procedure. Okay, and we'll practice the pronunciation of these words. Like everybody say procedure, procedure, right? Mm -hmm. Proce procedure. Yeah, procedure. 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 And uh, also procedure. say uh, aimed. 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 aimed, aimed. We do not pronounce the, the E. We don't aimed. pronounce that E. We say aimed. 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 And then we say Hazardous. 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 Mm -hmm. Awesome. So uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Now, what's an, in, an irreversible damage, uh, Jonathan? What is this? An it's a irreversible damage. Yes? The consequence or damage to is so serious that is impossible to undo to undo undo do uh -huh. um, so it's a damage that's very very serious yes that's it it's a damage that's very serious and it's impossible to change it look i'm going to tell you a story my father in law retired from kai's he worked in kai's for 30 years that's a long time and he worked in a very dangerous job there were many risks uh, risks and hazards in his job he had to go up in electricity poles and uh, and they, and they fix them when electricity went out so when they had when he, when they had a blackout he had to do that and uh, and uh, well, he had a friend that doing his that when doing his job when he was uh, when he was up in a pole, he did something wrong. I can't exactly explain you what it was, but he made a very big mistake, and uh, he lo he he lose an arm. He lost an arm in the operation because it, 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 it's somewhat you know he he got electrocuted doing the job you know it was a, it's a very dangerous job so while doing the job he i think he touched something wrong probably he was unprotected he was exposed but he he lost an arm so he was in a very he had an irreversible damage 
losing an arm is not something you can undo. Undo means to deshacer. Undo. Right? Do in the opposite. Undo. So he had an irreversible damage. He cannot get his arm back anymore. It's impossible to get his arm back. So irreversible damage. All right. Well, let's keep going. And uh, finally, precautionary. This is an adjective, precautionary. Everybody say precautionary. 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 Yeah. precautionary. Mm -hmm. The C-A-U, la C-A-U, la C-A-U, suena como O, precautionary. Precautionary. Mm -hmm. Precautionary. Yeah, so what's that? What's that? Um, Aries, please. It's um, amen. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Precautionary is a um, procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Mm, uh, what about uh, something that is? Uh, that sounds more like a measure. I mean, what you're saying sounds more like a measure, like a procedure, like a protocol. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds more like a measure, like a, a procedure. But uh, what about uh, what about uh, what about uh, an adjective? If this is just an adjective. Any other, does it give you any other idea? No, uh, I. Uh, we select this this um this sentence, but the correct is the aim to protect someone. Mm -hmm. Aim to something protect. from a has hazardous. Hazardous. All right. Again, hazardous. All right. Yeah. So that is it. That is it. It's aimed at protecting you from a hazardous situation. It's an adjective. Okay. Good. Now, you guys, uh, I think we'll continue working in groups and uh, we will have uh, different, different tasks assigned for this. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's save this and share it, uh, share it with you in the group. And uh, in a minute, I will explain you what we are doing. Look, I had to look up uh, risk because it wasn't easy. All right. So where were we? Okay. Let me send you a new picture over here. Don't look at my chats, guys. They're not fun. Okay. It's over there. The answer key is there. So uh, now let me run attendance before we continue. And uh, please respond uh, Respond to your name with the present. And, uh, and uh, also, I appreciate you being you're being here on time. Give me a second. Let me just find you, find it here. Okay, let's begin with Jesus. Jose Enrique de la O Salazar. Jose, unfortunately, he's not here. Katia Maria Soriana Santa Maria no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino tampoco. Y Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernández tampoco. Eh, Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Ben. Gotcha. Um, Iris Dorotea Sánchez Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Claudia Evelyn Hernández. It's present. Okay. María Belén Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. Uh, Omar Inmer Galdames. No está todavía. No, ya va a venir. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present, teacher. Ok, gracias. And uh, Shane Zohar Deming Cabrera. 
No está todavía. Eh, Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella. Present, present, present. Thank you. Mario Enrique Marquez Zelaya. Present, teacher. Got you, man. And uh, Gloria Elias Alegría Orellana. No. Nope. Uh, Elias Samuel Orellana Pérez. Salud. And uh, Adolfo Jonathan Rodríguez Parada. Present teacher. Present. You. Thank you. Aleida Elizabeth Juárez de Guevara. Present. Thank you. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Oopsie, Andrea is not here. Okay. Y Camila Calles Minero. Present teacher. Great. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, here we go. So let's continue. Oh, yeah. Now, look, we'll continue working on our uh, vocabulary practice. And uh, in here, we have uh, four different uh, four different hazardous uh, situations. We're still working on page number 34. And uh, we are going to focus mainly on physical hazards. Physical hazards. So now uh, let's go ahead and uh, and uh, brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to these categories. All right. Give you're going in your group. You're going to brainstorm. Give examples. Give examples of dangerous uh, situations in in each of these uh, scenarios. We have four scenarios. What are these four scenarios? Um, out of Aleida, can you read the four scenarios? Office hazard. Mm -hmm. Had hazardous substance. All right. Okay. Hazards and risk. Electricity and fire hazards. Sleep trips and falls risk. Okay, great, great. So we have uh, four different types of hazards in the workplace. It can be in the office. It can be in the. It can be in a in a in a in an assembly line in a production line. So uh, we have office hazards, hazardous uh, substances, electricity and fire hazards, and finally slips, trips, and falls. Risks, risks. Those are general. It, it, they can be in the workplace or even at home. All right. And now what we're going to do is this. Let's uh, pull up my breakout rooms. Let's pull up my, my small groups here. Get my groups ready. And uh, yeah, we're going to recreate them. And... Uh, Second. All right, now with your group or pair, with your trio or pair, with your trio or pair, you are going to, uh, you're going to find, uh, you're going to list examples. Now, here we have, uh, here we have office hazards. That's for group number one. In group number one, I have a uh, uh, Jonathan, Maria, and Mario. Group number one: Jonathan, Maria, and Mario. Office hazards. All right, great. In group number two, I have a. Uh, I have a. Uh, let's see. The next one is electricity, and fire hazards. Well, that goes to Arabella, Romulo and chain okay don't forget electricity and fire hazards that's your that's your scenario your situation so you give examples give examples of possible hazards in these uh in in this uh in this scenario all right great next one number three is hazardous uh substances 
And that goes to Aleda and Aries. So you're going to think of examples of hazardous uh, substances. All right, great. Don't forget hazardous uh, situations. That's for Aries and uh, Aleda. And uh, finally, group number four, general slips and falls uh, risks. And that goes, uh, that goes to Annalillian and Camilla. Number four, last one, slip, trips, and uh, falls and risks. That goes uh, to Annalillian and uh, Camilla. All right. Don't forget your, uh, your assignment. Let's go ahead and work in small groups. Here we go. Please accept the invitation. A couple of text in here. Marilla, join your group. from fall from height let me see um. uh, no that may be uh, uh, when uh, Caídas de altura. Fall sí. from height. Mm -hmm. No las tenemos que apuntar, no. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. Uh, I got that falls from highs and slips. Okay, uh, but I don't have a computer. I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mario is. Mm -hmm. The another is the when the, the, how do you say cielo falso? Uh, ceiling. Ceiling. Yeah. yeah. Ceiling is the, maybe we uh, fall. Is the, oh, está cayendo. Está cayendo, ¿ves? A uh, feeling fall. Uh, están, flojos, están como flojos, no, no. That's a uh, lose, lose a uh, ceiling, como flojo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lose a uh, lose ceiling. With double O. Lose. Ah, lose. Uh -huh. lose. Sí, eso lose significa flojo y solo con una O es como perder. perder. El verbo perder. Ajá, lose. Y solo con, and with the double O has a different meaning, so don't forget. And they fire? say fire, fire, no, I guess. Wh which fire. one, fire, uh, which one, you uh, fire. office, office, yeah, office, office. Hazard. Hazard. Mm -hmm. how about how about wires and cables and and and, and things like those? 
cut cables, I think. Oh, Long yeah. Cables. Uh -huh. Scratch cables, yeah. Three. Okay, scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like scratch uh, or peeled cables. Mm -hmm. okay. Great. All right, guys. I'll keep, you know, just uh, looking at the other groups. Okay. Good job. Okay. 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 For example. Mm -hmm. This is a good example. Uh, maybe to when the company uh, uh, your production line is with uh, flammable materials or uh, alcohol or espuma, no sé cómo se dice. Chemical products, no. Chemical products. Ah, ex exactly. Chemical, Chemical product. products. Yes. Yes. This is the topic for the biohazard. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yours, yours is uh, number two, right? That's electricity and fire hazards. Fire mm -hmm. hazards. Hazards. So, yeah. You hey, we. we at that moment, we have two examples, teacher. Okay, so far only two examples. Yeah, yeah, you still have time, so keep going. You can okay. come up with more. Okay, and then, and then first example is a um, pharma matter of all. Which one? Uh, I I ask this first first uh, example is uh, uh, como dijo sustancia química. Uh, pharmaceutical or chemical substances. Uh -huh. no, chemical. But but your yours is which one are you're doing electricity and fire hazards right? Uh, Isn't that yours? Is it is what you said, right? Electricity and fire, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So chemical. Yeah, I think it fits, but it but it 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 with uh, with, with cord circuit. Uh, cut cut. Yeah. Mm, I see. I see what you mean. I see what what you mean. Like a, a blackout. Uh, blackout. That's another uh, electricity and fire hazard. Imagine the 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 lights go out. Repeat, teacher. What? What? Uh, I said blackout. Blackout, and that is when the lights go off. Blackout. Okay. Mm. When the but electricity goes off. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, this is cut circuit. Oh, no, I think that is different. Let me search. I'm not quite sure about that one. Mm, okay. Uh, um, that's a short circuit. <laughs> short circuit. Yeah, short, like a, like a short pin, short circuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll spell it out for you. Short circuit. Okay. Circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when I when when exists the hole in the in the wall, when the the cable is is cut, and one person touch touch them. Mm, okay, well, that's a, yeah, that's an obvious risk. Yes. Mm, but uh, which one are you, do you mean the, what is the problem? Is it, is it the cables that are, uh, that are uh, old? 
Yes, when the the home is building. Uh, they're building. All oh, right, they're building a home. Yes. Okay. So I guess uh, th that's a construction hazard. Yes, and not not finished the 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 la, los han not terminado la obra. Ah, uh, okay. So you can say unfinished. Un. Finish. Unfinish. Construction Unfinish. work, right? Construction. Okay. Unfinished work. construction work. Mm -hmm. That's an unfinished construction work. All right. Great. Great. Very good. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Keep going. I'll go ahead and uh, check on the other group. Okay. okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe the. Maybe it's a, a, a dangerous this this substance. I I I do. Yes. Yes. Finish, teacher. Finish. Yes. yes. Okay, great, great. So if you're done, now I guess I'll just uh, wait for the other groups and see what their ideas are. All right, fine. So yours, what is yours? You are doing uh, hazardous substances, right? Yeah. Am I right? Hazardous okay. Substance. And uh, what, uh, what examples did you find? of hazardous uh, substances. Um, we see right now, um, for example, chloro. Okay. Alcohol here. Um, ammoniac. Yeah, ammonium. Mm -hmm. Ammonium. Yes. Um, um it's possible um, um uh poisoning oh poison yeah poisonous uh substances uh-huh that's good that's great that is another example i like it great all right, I'll go check on the last group and uh, then we go back. When I sit in a broken chair, we can fall. Uh huh. I think. Uh -huh. I, think mm -hmm. uh, I think it's fine. In a broken chair. I don't sure it's in plural or in singular. In a broken chair. I think it's. Uh, the falls. The falls or trips or slips. Ah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it's plural because uh, we write when we, when the plural, uh, uh -huh, because we mentioned we can sleep, mm -hmm. we can trips. When, when we say we, it's a more than one person. It's in plural. If I say, uh, when we uh, sit in a broken chair, I can trip. Maybe it's in singular, right? Trip and fall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but we can, we, we say it in, in a plural. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, when I sit in a broken chair, uh, when when I sit in a broken chair, we can fall. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. We can fall. You can fall. Fall. Remember the the verb doesn't have a plural. Just uh -huh. fall. It's a singular. No, no s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Fall. Fall. 
is the same in sleep and trip, teacher. Trip, say again. Is the same when we say sleep and trip. Mm. Is without this. No, uh, sleep no. is this. I'm going to do it with my hands. Huh? Okay. You mm -hmm. sleep. Like, uh -huh. And trip um. is like this. Like, for example, uh, I have this. Man, I need something else. I have mm -hmm. this. And you trip. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, slip is like, like this. But if you trip, mm -hmm. you step on something else and mm -hmm. fall. That's trip. Uh-huh. But it's not with S al final. Doesn't have an S. Uh, nope. No, it's it doesn't. Similar. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, they're verbs, they're verbs. Okay. Uh, so okay. They, they don't have an S, unless you talk about another person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, and what is the difference, the trip uh, for the accident and the trip for the travel? Uh, no, no difference. Spelling, is pronunciation, the same, the same, it's the, the same. same word. Oh. Yeah, it's just the use. So if you look at the context mm -hmm. and uh, figure out the use. Mm -hmm. But they meet, they they sound and spell the same thing. It, it just depends on the on the surrounding context words. Mm -hmm. Because it's the same, exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So it looks like you finished, huh? Only one more. Thing. <laughs> All right. Great. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Oh, Camila, you, we have a uh, make one sentence. Oh, say, wow, this is pretty good. The lots of it. So, <laughs> yours is uh, what type of hazard is yours? Please. Office, Office. hazard. Has Man, those are those are lots of them. Improper machine handling, cables on the floor, yes. Unguarded uh, machinery that can injure employees, yeah. Old mobile, bad personnel protection. And blocked emergent. Oh, man, that is a very important one. The last one. Hmm. I remember... In the in a, in a institution where I work at in the mornings, I had uh, students when the classroom was full, when the classroom was packed, I had students that sat in the entrance, in the, in the, that sat right in front of the door. And uh, it's dangerous to sit in front of the door. Imagine we have an earthquake, a tremor, and uh, everybody is desperate and runs. Mm -hmm. People are going to run over you if you are in the yes. end. Everybody's going to stamp you. So they, that's that's important. The emergency exit has to be clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that's that's enough. I guess. So we will go back to our groups in just a minute. I mean, to the main session. All right. All right, everybody coming back. Okay. All right, good. Great. So looks like everybody is back. All right, fine. 
So now you guys, uh, we are going to share our opinions. I think not everybody's back. Yeah, okay, yeah, still some more people are, are joining. All right, Mary, from Arabella, Shane. Okay, great, great, everybody is in. Okay, so now uh, we are going to share our, our examples. All right, so first, first uh, we, I think you guys have plenty of, uh, uh, plenty of examples, but let's hear some of your ideas. All right. If you want to, you can share your screen when you are talking. And please, when you talk about your examples, uh, give details too, all right? So give details of what, uh, what hazards or what risks or what type of damages can happen to you, what type of consequences can happen to you if you do that. All right, so here we go. First, it's office, yeah. First is office hazards. So office hazards, please, go ahead. That is... Um... Okay, I will share. Okay, good. Remember, everybody has to speak, so you can talk about some, and then somebody else picks it up. Okay. All right. That's all. All office hazards we found. Mm -hmm. For example, have a slit or have a wet floor in the office. You can fall, mm -hmm. and and for example, you can fall over your arm. Your, it can be broken. Yes, certainly. Yes, yeah, that's too to fall, fall from height. Uh huh. Great. Oh, falling from heights. Yes. Falling. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Like it. Uh, then uh, continue, please. Just uh, two more, and then another classmate picks it up. Low ceilings is like uh -huh. the, the square dot block in the uh -huh. Look, for example, my ceilings Stop. are not loose. Yeah. But they can look like can be fall down when like for a little earthquake for a little touching. <laughs> a little tremor can bring them down. Mm hmm Great. Yeah. Like, and a scratch, I think, I think I wrote it correctly. A scratch cable is when cables are cut. All right, yeah. Uh-huh, scratch cables. Yes, like it. All right, fine. So uh, let's see. And uh, another classmate picks it up, please. Improper machine handling. Okay. Uh huh. Um, when a machine is, uh, maybe you can um, job in the machine. I think so. Mm hmm. Yes. Um, okay. ca cables on on the floor because you can. Um, um is um maybe I can fall you can drop mm -hmm. drop yeah okay All right. um let me see on guard on on guarded machinery that can injure employees all right good on guarded machinery okay yes uh-huh like uh, ah, mm -hmm. continue. All all mobility. 
Almost because in many, yes, in many um, office, uh, the mobility is full, <laughs> and maybe um, um, table on many. Mm -hmm. So tables and other other chairs. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Chairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, please. Okay. And uh, who will just give give us one more, and uh, then uh, somebody else picks it up. Please. Okay. Um, bad personal protector. All right. Bad personal protection. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Like, uh, for example. For example, for example, um, when you work um, heavy um, machine, you need okay. protect your your head. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. True. True. So you need you need a, a helmet. Right? Yes. A helmet mm -hmm. for protection. Helmet. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Somebody else picks it up, please. Okay, um, the uh, no have stairs and the sleeps band uh, is when we can uh, the risk for of the drop to the stairs or the slip in the stairs. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, no slip bars in the stairs. Okay, no slip bars. Mm -hmm. No slip bends on mm -hmm. the stairs, right? No slip bends on the stairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's very dangerous. That is really dangerous. Okay, mm -hmm. continue, please. Um, stairs with a, without railings. Uh, when railings, yeah. Railings. If we did not, we can mm -hmm. uh, take uh, uh, in the any any anything to up or down the stairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you don't have a if you don't have a railings on your stairs what are you gonna fall on <laughs> your face maybe all right you're gonna <laughs> fall on your face luckily <laughs> with your hands but more more likely with your face mm -hmm. okay great okay. uh-huh and uh, continue please and um, the expired extinguish extinguisher extinguisher mm -hmm. oh that's mm -hmm. another point that's another point and yes. expired fire extinguisher yes um and the that's when we said block emergency exit it's block like, emergency block. Okay. emergency again mm -hmm. emergency yes maybe maybe uh, the employees uh, put uh, uh, chairs or mm -hmm. tables uh, in front to the doors to the emergency exit. Emergency exit, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and which is very dangerous, right? Okay. All right. So what what could happen in case that is blocked? What can happen in case the emergency emergency uh, and exit is blocked? In, in the case of the any em, emergency, uh, the employees can leave the office, uh -huh. or, uh, or they uh, se concentran ahí. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. they 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 crowd the exit. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. they yeah, they crowd the exit. So, well, that it, those are very important points. So many bad things can happen if the entrance is blocked or the exit rather is blocked like it thank you please uh let's see then the next type of hazard is electricity and fire hazards so that's in uh in um uh, i think romulo's group right you guys are talking about that right isn't it Okay, great. So please go ahead. Uh, 
Arabella. Ok. <risos> ok. <risos> ok. É, é, electricity, fire hazard. Electricity and fire hazard. Chemical, chemical substance. Ok. Wars electrical installation. But try to explain the, your mm, the, the, yeah, the, the, give the, give uh, examples. Yes. Okay. Uh, the first is when the uh, the company uh, use material with chemical substance of a production line okay so all right yeah that's that's a point okay other uh, second example is worse electrical installation bad did you say bad bad okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Bad. Bad. Okay. I, tr I tried to explain, Arabella. All right, go ahead. Tell us about that one. Very good. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, when the, you build, for example, a, a house or building, and the, the people uh, or the electricity work worker that uh, don't don't have the certificate and uh -huh. and uh, the old installation uh, uh, don't uh, uh, is very or is not functional and don't have the certificate okay all right yeah because the people do is no is the don't don't have the the the, the knowledge enough mm -hmm. don't have not enough knowledge or they're not enough knowledge yeah they're not authorized right they just ah yeah the one can do it yeah fine yes uh when when the, you use uh, uh the probability or, or likelihood is uh uh occasionally the or the the fire because uh the circuit uh, uh and don't functional right it is not functional uh -huh. like it thank you Romulo all right uh please anybody else uh, left over voltage uh the example when when the office, the people connect to cell phone in the hole in the wallet and let connect to more hours. All right. Mm -hmm. And produce a short circuit and, and then a, a, a cause of a fire. It causes a fire. All right. That's a great point. Yes. Thank you. It, mm -hmm. it overcharges, and when the, you use uh, the connection of, um, and for example, and then unplug, unplug, and the different uh, uh, dispositive and, and the same devices. Uh, right? Huh? Devices. Devices, yes, mm -hmm. and the same, and the same connector, for example. All right. They can, they can occasional at the overbolt uh they can cause they can cause an overbolt true true all right right and uh any other any other uh idea for uh for electricity or fire hazards when the when the build the pyrotechnics or co co i don't know rocket rocket yeah pyrotechnic works true yes and do a, a material, I don't know, inflammable. 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 Mm -hmm. and, and then produce a, a fire. All right. Yeah. You know, all of that is, all of that is really dangerous. Yes. 
All right. And the uh, then uh, the last one, Weld Workshops. Tell us about that. Tell us about Weld Workshops, please. It's a uh, that kind of uh, the the workshop is uh, use a uh, different device. Uh, uh, if uh, if if you don't handle it very well, you uh -huh. can okay that question our workshop yeah. or or fire fire. Uh huh. You can cause a fire. Uh, do you think there can be another another uh, cause? for fires in weld shops, in weld, uh, in weld workshops? Mm. Don't use uh, the appropriate equipment, for example, or no? Mm, not the appropriate equipment. Uh-huh. So, I guess, yeah, that can be like, for example, when people use uh, handmade or homemade equipment, they don't buy it. You know, they don't buy it. They make it themselves. Lo hacen como hechizo, right? Okay. Uh -huh, yeah, that, 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 that's like homemade, como caseros, ¿verdad? Homemade, okay. Yeah, homemade equipment. And uh, that can be very, very dangerous because it's not protected properly. It can lead to many types of accidents. Thank you very much. That's a okay. great. That was a, a great uh, participation. Let's hear uh, the next group, which was in charge of hazardous uh, substances. I think that's Aleda and Iris. All right, girls. Uh, please tell us about that. Okay, I um sure mm -hmm. my screen. Um Hi. yeah we can see a, a hazardous uh substance is um can include different for example by a biological agent a natural substance oh, yeah. and to stuff generated by work or chemical products. Chemical products. Um, we're thinking uh, it's, it's most common right now um, in, in effect for the pandemic right now, we use uh, different products for, for cleaning mm -hmm. or sanitizing, maybe um, it's, a, it's a hazardous substance it's hazard, because yeah. we, we have pets in the house we have kids mm -hmm. and, and for example the chloro or um, el, um ammonic maybe mm -hmm. is a substance a hazardous food substance yeah and in the industries use a different substance maybe most dangerous and flammables and and i find um this um thing uh, rotulos mm -hmm. yeah I, when you go at the industries at factories you can see that the the signals uh, because it sometimes is a it's about the substance Okay. Be close, ready flammable liquid. Uh, for example, in the gas, the gas station, uh, for the gas is flammable liquid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We find that that uh, signal. Yeah. All right. Great. Great. Thank you. And uh, is there anything else you want to share? No. Is it? Is that it? Yeah. Okay, great. So substances, substances are, are, there are plenty of them. Great. Thank you. Let's see another type of danger in last one. Oh, I have to run attendance just in case we have more people in here. All right. So let's double check. 
José Enrique de la O. Salazar, no está presente. Eh, Omar Inmer Dames Linares, tampoco. Claudia Evelyn Hernández, tampoco está. Shane Zohar Deming Cabrera. Present. Yair. Then, um, Andrea Elizabeth Siwenza. Ella acaba de escribir que me va a Okay. Great. Uh, well, I guess uh, we're going to listen to the last group. Please, go ahead and tell and uh, tell us about the other category. That's uh, slips, trips, and fall and full risks. So what about that one, please? Okay, I'm sure that. Uh, you, all right, go ahead, share your screen. Okay, Anna Lilian, you begin? Yes, I'm here, <laughs> thank you. All right. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna start. Uh, the first one is a slip. Mm -hmm. uh, this is when the floor is wet, we can sleep. Uh -huh. This is the more common example. Yeah, it's most common. Because, true. Uh -huh, because it's, it's a very, it's a very common uh, in the most, the most important, I think. So yeah. we have to, to have a, a be careful. Yeah. Because it's uh, many accidents when the floor is wet. Mm -hmm. And this is this is the first example. And right. the other one is Arabel, uh, Camila is going to <laughs> explain. Right. Okay, the other example, the human example, the, the trip is uh, when we run the hill, the, the woman uh, running the hill in on the stair, the stairs, uh, we can trip. It's a common accident because uh, <laughs> in whatever room in, in following uh, in the stairs. So and broken whatever <laughs> yeah you can break a leg many things can happen yes too many <laughs> true that yes the other one is when i sit on a broken chair we can fall oh that is it, it's human too it's because common. sometimes aha uh -huh, is a or the chair or the sofa or something like that some some people is sit in this in his fall. <laughs> oh, yeah, and they can fall too. Uh -huh, they can fall, exactly. All right, great. And uh, let's the, see the next one. In the risk, in the um, actually, is uh, if we don't wash uh, our hands con constantly, mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, be risk to catching coronavirus. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, if you don't wash your hands constantly, constantly. Mm -hmm. All right, you will uh, be at risk of uh, catching coronavirus. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, probably uh, doesn't have much to do with uh, with lips, trips, and falls, but but it makes sense. It, it does make sense. So all of these are possible. Are things that can possibly happen to you? Yes, in case of, in case of that. All right, guys. Was there any any uh, any risk? Thank you very much for sharing. Was there any risk that we missed in this uh, during this uh, time that we we talked and shared? Was there any risk we missed in this uh, short uh, activity? Hazards and risks. Yeah, hazards and risks. But did we uh, did we miss any? Did we miss any type of uh, of uh, of risk? Uh, no, teacher. No, not really, right? No, not really. It, it looks it looks complete. I like I like them all. In fact, uh, in fact, I think I will uh, give you like individual uh, feedback uh, per group. All right. So we can, uh, so we can uh, check on uh, on observations and uh, and uh, and uh, mainly work on pronunciation. All right. So, and uh, but we'll do it later. 
Now I want to ask you, I want to ask you, have you ever been in a dangerous situation at work? Have you ever been in a in a in a hazardous situation or has any of the situations that your classmates uh, talked about happened to you? Mm -hmm. Any of them, any of the ones that you guys uh, shared. Has, have you ever experienced one or heard stories about about people uh people who had these uh bad bad experiences uh, maybe one teacher yeah okay all right tell us about it please when the... <laughs> wait i'm um, sorry uh... oh, Arabella, let's go mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead Arabella. okay <laughs> uh, i in my case um when carpet in the floor eh, estaba levantada. <laughs> when the eh, carpet was uh, was off the floor. The carpet was uh, off the floor. It wasn't on the uh, floor, it was off the floor. What what us off the floor? Mm -hmm. Off the floor, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then it's very dangerous because the people people <laughs> fell people fell fell all right fell, fell. so did did people actually fall did did an accident actually happen yes uh, so there was an accident what what did what happened tell us more about it in, in the one people uh, file. Mm -hmm. One person uh, file. No, I don't report this situation when um, mantenimiento. Main. No. Mm -hmm. Main. Main. Mm -hmm. No repair. This is. Carpet. All right. So maintenance didn't do their job, huh? Didn't. Okay. Didn't didn't, didn't repair, right? Didn't prepare. Prepare. Uh, car. Didn't repair. Okay. Yes. Great. All right. Good. All right. Well, yes. that's that's Thank actually a, a good point to share. All right. Thank you. Um, let's see, anybody else did it? Has anybody else uh, witnessed or experienced an accident in, uh, in one of these uh, hazardous uh, situations? Me. But, okay. Uh, not for me, but uh, the um, partner in the work. Okay. He, he used the... Uh, Sierra Eléctrica. Whoa. I don't know what is Sierra Eléctrica. Oh, that's a chain saw. I'll put it in the chat. Chain saw. Chain saw. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it, you pronounce it like this. Chain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She used the chain saw and um, the chain saw has a protector. But yeah. the, this person feels uh use a lot of time the the chainsaw and he says no it's okay i don't put the protection and because uh, i i use the chainsaw every day and whatever okay and uh, amputed two fingers he lost two fingers yes wow yeah that is something yeah, wow. it, was, it was horrible for us because we saw. You saw that. Yeah. Wow, I mean, it could have been horrible for anybody. Yes. Wow. yes. I mean, I, I can't picture it. 
Mm, all right. Well, thanks for sharing. So the man lost two fingers. Look, guys, that, that's really dangerous. Anybody else? Has anybody else witnessed any other accident? Or being part of it? Mm, well, last time I told you my story, right? I mean, the story I heard, it, it's not my story. It's a story my, my father-in-law told me about this guy who lost, uh, who lost an arm doing his job. That, that is a very, it's a, it's a dangerous situation. And, uh, and uh, it, it can happen to anybody. So if you step on the on the wrong place you can lose an arm in there <clears throat> okay well other other accidents i have seen are these ones water fountains okay water fountains in a water let sometimes people uh they overflow right the water fountains uh they overflow they overflow, you know, they se rebalsan, they overflow. So um, there is water on the floor and sometimes people just walk and slip on it, all right? People walk and slip. Other things that can happen are these, probably extended, wires or cables in the wrong place for example let's imagine you work in a place where everybody brings a laptop and they have their laptop charger plugged and the plug and the cable is like this on the in it's uh the cable is extended and it's not on the floor so People can trip on this. They can. People can uh, can trip on this. They can trip on the cable and fall. So those are those are dangerous situations that that can happen in the workplace. All right. So we in this class we cover mainly uh, we cover mainly these types of dangers like physical dangers. In another class, in a different class, we'll cover financial dangers, okay? And uh, so please keep studying, doing your exercises. And if you have any questions down, down the road, please let me know. Today, uh, I, uh, we have to stay for 10 more minutes. Not everybody, just anybody who can. I highly recommend, uh, I highly recommend a couple of people to stay, especially because they're, they were late or uh, they need to practice more. And uh, I will let you know in private, but not everybody has to, okay? So just uh, just a few people I will, I will call. And uh, today I will ask, uh, I will ask just this one person, all right? The other ones can go. If you don't receive a message, you can leave, all right? And uh, I will see you tomorrow, okay? All right, so you take care of yourselves. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, tomorrow. take care. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye, Lucy. Bye. 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 Arabella, Arabella, just don't go. Arabella, can you yes. say? Okay. okay. Yeah. So, I think... Uh, with you, we're going to review just uh, pronunciation, okay? Okay, bye. Pronunciation of, uh, of a new vocabulary. All right. So, uh, we talked about uh, hazardous situations, right? Y también okay. vamos a repasar un poquito el pasado, okay? Porque eh, hay que reforzar, no hay, no, hay, no, hay, no, hay mayor, no hay mayor detalle, okay? Bien, eh, first, uh, first, uh, let's, uh, let's work on uh, words. A second, let's share screen.
Okay, so uh, for example, this one. Uh, say number one, risk. Risk. Uh huh. Risk. Next, uh, hazard. Hazard. Yeah, hazard. Hazard. Mm -hmm. Then exposure. Exposure. Mm -hmm. Exposure. Exposure. Uh huh. And then here we have a safety measure. Safety measures. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, next is irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Great. And uh, precautionary. Precautionary. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Good. So those are those are some uh, some new words. Also, let's uh, practice with these. Okay. Let's um, say serious, serious, serious. Say it, please. Serious. Uh huh. Good. Very good. Now uh, try this. Aimed. 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 Uh huh. Good. Good. Now say unprotected. Unprotected. Uh huh. Good. Very good. Si se fija aquí en aimed no pronunciamos la e, solo la de del final. Y aquí sí. En unprotected. Ahí sí se pronuncia la e. Uh, o, o como se pronuncia como una uh -huh. i corta, verdad? Unprotected. Ajá, muy bien. Why? ¿Por qué? Ah, es que la, los verbos que terminan en D, o sea, que digamos, aquí va, protect, protect, solo la letra T. Los verbos que terminan en letra T uh -huh. o D, cuando se les agrega la E, D, sí se pronuncia. De ahí todo lo demás, no. Very, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. Vale, ahora, como decía, vamos a practicar un poco el pasado, right? So let's practice, uh, let's practice past. So tell me, what did you do yesterday? I, 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 I sleep all day. You slept all day. I sleep all day. Um, to, I see, Movie? I see the movie. I, no, uh, I watched. I watched. I watched the movie. Uh huh. I watched the movie. And same oh, October too. I I going. Mm -mm, I mm -mm. Go. But it passed. Passed. I. I, I gone. Mm mm. What's the what? past? I was go. No. I. I went. Aha. There you go. I went. I went. Uh, I went. Uh, uh, I visit, visited. My, I went to visit. Yeah. I oh. went to visit my sister. Mm -hmm. Because. She need, uh, she need some, something. All right. Of course. <laughs> uh, all right, she needs some things. Good. It's okay, it's okay, girl, continue. Uh, okay. All right, mm -hmm. tell us more. Mm. Um, and in the night. Yeah, in the evening. Uh, I the evening, I mm -hmm. I the evening, I arrive my house. I, I house. I arrive my house. You arrive home. Uh, arrive home. Uh -huh. Arrive home. Then, then I prepare uh, the dinner. And right. It's the dinner. Only this. Only that. So you prepare dinner and you ate dinner too. 
That's good. It's mm. very good. Yes. All yeah. right. All right. Only good. This. <laughs> Only that. You know. You know. It, it's actually. Yeah. It. It's actually very good that you that you that you're practicing and 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 trying to trying to tell tell me more. I mean. I mean trying to uh, make more sentences in the past and so on. So. Um, so let's try more let's let's give it give it a try all right uh also i recommend uh, you practice verbs okay because uh, que re, repase los verbos en el pasado okay good th good thing is that you are uh you are you're you're spontaneous okay you are not uh shy que no es tímida eso es lo bueno Okay. That's a good thing because, uh, aunque le, le cueste y se tarda un poquito, you do it. Pero hay gente que okay. tiene la desventaja de que es tímida, ¿ve? y con eso es peor todavía. Entonces tiene sí. la ventaja que, que, es, que se expresa, ¿verdad? Okay. So, uh, so, a good thing to do, I think, is uh, to review past. Repase el, el pasado, uh -huh. pero solo cuando esté hablando del pasado, ¿verdad? Solo cuando esté hablando de ayer, en la mañana. Anoche, hace dos años. So in those situations, practice the verbs in past. So you don't forget them. All right? Para que no se le olviden. Siempre oh. uh, practica hacer oraciones. And uh, remember, watch videos and series. Okay? You have to watch a video or a series in English. Aunque es una cortita. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do it. Uh, all right. I, are you actually watching one? ¿Está viendo una ahorita? No, no me gusta mucho la serie porque estoy enganchada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero voy a ponerme, a, a, en, en términos de estudiar, me voy a poner a, a ver una serie. Yeah, it, it, it's just for fun. Es solo como por diversión. O sea, busque una que no tenga capítulos largos. O sea, uh -huh. corta y, y, y va a ver que eso le ayuda un montón. Eso sí ayuda un montón. It's very sí. helpful. Great. Well, okay. thanks for staying, uh, Arabella. I thank you for your time. And if you want to stay uh, tomorrow too, it's okay. Si quiere practicar más mañana, podría también. Creo que voy a llamar una persona más. Pero si usted se quiere quedar, está bien. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I stay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Great. So you have a good night. Okay. And thanks for good your night. time. Muchas gracias. All right. Very welcome. Take care. Ciao.